This is just a quick update on the 3D printed Polish Enigma machine. Um, I think most people thought I'd given up, but no, I've just been busy. I've been working on other projects, so this one's been sitting for a little while. But I'm looking at getting back into it now. So I can't remember the last place I got up to, but basically this is this is all ready to start wiring up now. And to do the wiring, uh, I'm actually going to wire each piece separately and then connect them together using these um, D connectors. So I'll get back to this in a second. Um, leading up to that, one of the things I've done is I've replaced all the key tops. Uh, originally I had sort of painted ones with little pieces of glass uh, microscope cover slide and I found people were quite rough with this and it would actually crack the glass because the glass is very thin. So I've replaced that just with um, sort of printed on clear acetate uh, for the lettering and I reprinted the bottom of the keys to be white plastic so that's the white background that you see on top of the keys there. Uh, the other thing I've noticed is it's been sitting for so long it's actually starting to warp the plastic. You can see the the plate there is warping. Um, I'm not sure if that's enough to affect it. There's there's a bit of movement there, but the keys still work, so that may be okay. But um, look over there on, on the printer there. I'm actually reprinting a new base piece uh, with a little bit of a stiffening rib around the outside. So I'll see if that helps. Go back to this. Um, this was just me scribbling out the um, how I'm going to do the connections and whether the different male and female plugs go. Um, I wanted to work that out because what I can actually do is is do things like initially I can leave out the plug board, so I should be able to connect the keyboard straight into the entry wheel, and that way I can test if everything works. You can separate out the plug board and treat that as a separate item. Um, now this thing. This is going to be a little test jig, so what I want to be able to do is to test all the wiring and to test that I've got the connections correct. Uh, these connections can be broken and then plugged into this. And these are actually bi-directional LEDs, they're sort of red-green LEDs. Um, I can't finish it at the moment because I didn't have enough resistors, so I'm waiting for a whole bunch of resistors to arrive. But basically these letters will match the um, the letters of the alphabet matching the keyboard and with this plugged in series with these connections and with the appropriate power connected I should be able to press a key on the keyboard and as well as the lamp board light up I should be able to see the power going in and then coming back out by lighting up two of the LEDs one will be lit up red and one will be lit up green and I'm just going to use that when I uh, do the wiring. I'll probably also make a little test jig for when I wire up the the rotors um, so that I can check that I've actually got the cross wirings correct. So this is just made up on a little bit of whoops, um, perf board. Just drop my connector um, and these will just be wired up when I get round to it. Uh, the other good thing I discovered is that old school Dymo labels are actually the letters are on, I think it's quarter inch spacing. Uh, so this is two spaces between the letters. And the label actually lines up perfectly with the LEDs. So I'll be able to label them. Um, it's not much of an update, I know. But uh, I am trying to get back into this now. So hopefully there will be some progress soon.